Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the topic Laplace transform of a periodic function. First, we can discuss periodic function. What is a periodic function? A function f of t is said to be a periodic function with period capital T, t greater than 0. If f of t plus t, f of t plus t equal to f of t. A function f of t is said to be periodic with period capital T if f of t plus t is equal to f of t. Now we can discuss the transform of periodic function. Yes, we have a theorem. If f of t is piecewise continuous on 0 infinity, comma is of or exponential order and periodic with period capital T. Then Laplace transform of f of t is equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus s into capital T where capital T is the period of uh, the function f of t into integral 0 to capital T e power minus st f of t dt. So if f of t is a uh, periodic function with the period capital T then the Laplace transform of that function will be of this form 1 by 1 minus e power minus s into that period capital T into integral 0 to capital T e power minus st f of t dt. Now we can try to prove this theorem. By definition of the Laplace transform we have L of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt. Now this can be written as we have we are given that f of t is a periodic function with the period t. So if you are splitting this integral like this integral 0 to t plus integral t to infinity, you can write this e power minus st f of t dt. Here also e power minus st f of t dt. Number it as 1. Now put u equal to t minus capital T u equal to t minus capital T. So, what about this second integral? The second integral is we have integral capital T to infinity e power minus st f of t dt. Here we have, uh, if we put u equal to t minus t, we have cap small t is equal to u plus capital T. Therefore, we have from in this second inter in the interval, t varies from capital T to uh, t equal to infinity. So, when t equal to capital T, we have u equal to t minus t, that is t minus t is 0 and when t equal to infinity, we have u equal to infinity. So, this limit t, t to infinity becomes u from 0 to infinity. This is actually u. u from 0 to infinity and e power minus s t can be written as u plus capital T into f of t, f of t equal to t equal to u plus capital T dt, dt can be written as du because du equal to dt minus 0 so du is du. Now this is equal to e power minus s into t, here the integration is with respect to u so e power minus st is constant so integral u from 0 to infinity e power minus su f of u plus t is equal to f of u because we have uh, f is a periodic function with the period capital T. So, f of u plus t equal to f of u du. So, this is equal to e power minus st. This is nothing but Laplace transform of f of t. Therefore, the equation number 1 is equal to L of f of t equal to this plus this. Therefore, equation number 1 implies L of f of t is equal to integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt plus second integral is this that is e power minus st L of f of t e power minus st L of f of t. So, taking this to left hand side we get L of f of t 
into 1 minus e power minus st is equal to integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt. So we have L of f of t is equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus st in the integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt. Now we can discuss an example. Find the Laplace transform of the periodic function given in the following figure. So we are given a periodic function like this. That is from 0 to 1 we have the value of the function e of t is equal to 1 and from 1 to 2 it is 0, 2 to 3 it is 1, 3 to 4 0 etc. So this is a periodic function with the period 2 because we can write this uh, function as like this e of t equal to 1 for 0 less than or equal to t less than 1 and 0 for 1 less than or equal to t less than 2 and e of t plus 2 equal to e of t. Therefore, here t the period t equal to 2. So, we know the Laplace transform of the periodic function f of t is 1 by 1 minus e power minus st integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt. Therefore, Laplace transform of e of t is equal to by using that definition we have 1 by 1 minus e power minus st 1 by 1 minus e power minus s into t integral 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt that is e power minus st e of t dt. So this is equal to we have t equal to 2 so 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2 st equal to so integral 0 to 2 e power minus st e of t dt. So if uh, this is equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2s so 0 to this can be split as 0 to 1 plus 1 to 2 we have here 0 to 2 so from 0 to 1 we have e of t is equal to 1 so this is e power minus st into 1 dt from 1 to 2 we have this 0 so e power minus st into 0 dt now this is equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2s into integral this is integral of this is e power minus st divided by minus s from t from 0 to 1 plus here is 0 so this is actually 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2s into e power minus s minus z e power 0 is 1 divided by minus minus s so this is equal to 1 by here is we have 1 minus e power minus s divided by s and here we have 1 minus e power minus 2s that is 1 minus e power minus s whole square so here we have this is equal to 1 by here we have a square minus b square you know a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So this is nothing but 1 plus e power minus s into 1 minus e power minus s into this 1 minus e power minus s divided by s. So this is equal to so cancelling this we get 1 by s into 1 plus e power minus s.